Eve and the Serpent, Part 1. Genesis, Chapter 3, Verse 2 through 3. The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden. But God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. In the previous verse, the crafty serpent, most likely Satan in control of an animal, or taking on an animal form, began his temptation of the first woman. This conversation is his attempt to convince her to disobey God. He starts with a question he knows the answer to, one apparently intended to draw her into judging God's character. This begins by encouraging her to consider, or even to doubt, God's command. Did God really say you can't eat from any tree in the garden? Verses 2 and 3 describe the woman's response. She immediately corrects the serpent. We may eat the fruit of the trees in the garden. This part of the response is all well and good. Her answer is correct, but getting her to talk is part of the devil's trap. The end of her response, in the following verse, shows the woman doesn't have a clear understanding of God's command. In verse 2, she begins to answer, and at first, her answer seems solid. She correctly responds that no, they could eat fruit from the trees in the garden. She then concludes her answer with God's actual restriction. However, she doesn't seem to quote it exactly right. This reflects just enough doubt over God's words to give Satan an opportunity. Here's what God said to Adam about what not to eat in Genesis chapter 2, verse 16 through 17. You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. The woman, either by accident or out of sincerity, added an extra layer to God's statement. The restriction that they were not even allowed to touch the tree wasn't part of God's actual command. Either Eve, as the woman would later be known, did not fully understand the command, she misremembered it, or she intentionally misquoted it in an effort to be more emphatic. Instead of bolstering her willingness to obey, this addition to the words of God actually makes Satan's strategy more effective. In the context of this conversation, her error makes God appear even more restrictive than he is. The serpent will quickly zero in on the issue of God's character, his honesty, and his fairness.